with me. Om Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyoti Gamaya Mrityorma Amrutangamaya Om Shanti 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 Yes, children, now slowly open your eyes. In the previous class, we all discussed about the lesson number one, the lazy grasshopper. You have learned this story now? Yes or no? Yes. Now, it is time to solve the exercises. Children, all of you open exercises in your textbook. That is page number I will tell you the page number. All of you open page number 5. Exercises. Write down the heading in your notebook. Exercises. Here, first one they have given that. A. Write T for the true statement and F for the false statement. So, here... They have given the true or false. What you have to do is T for the true and false for the F. Okay, children. So, here the grasshopper was singing and dancing. Is it true? All of you have learned in the story now. Is it true? Yes. True. Next, second one. Write the T, only tree. Second question. The ant was dancing with the grasshopper. The ant was dancing with the grasshopper. Is the ant was dancing with the grasshopper? No. It is false. So you should write it. Yeah. For false statement. Third one. The ant and the grasshopper were enemies. Is the enemies? No. No. False. Fourth one. The ant shared food with the grasshopper. The ant shared the food with the grasshopper. Is it true? No. False. Because the ant did not share the food with the grasshopper. So it is false. This statement is false. Now coming to the next. Answer these questions orally. Here they have given orally, but you have to write down this question and answers in your prayer book. Now you can tell me orally. I, now I will tell you questions. You can answer me orally, but you have to write it in your prayer book. What is the first question? What was the grasshopper doing? What was the grasshopper doing in the story? The answer is the grasshopper was singing and Dancing. The grasshopper was singing and dancing. Next, second question. Who stored food for winter? Here it is not there, but I have given you some question here. Who stored food for winter? Ant or grasshopper? Yes, the ant stored food for winter. The ant stored food for winter. What happened during winter? What happened during winter? Question number 3. Answer is, during winter, the grasshopper did not find any food. During winter, the grasshopper did not find any food. This is the answer. Coming to the fourth question. This is the just general question I am asking you. Who was lazy in this lesson? Who was lazy in this lesson? As the lesson name itself indicates that the grasshopper was lazy. The lazy grasshopper, isn't it? The ant was very active. Here, the grasshopper was lazy. Question number 5. What did the grasshopper learn? In this lesson, what lesson did the grasshopper learn? Question number 5. Four, last question. The answer is there is a time for work and there is a time for play. This lesson the grasshopper learnt by 
this story there is a time for work and there is a time for play yes students understood yes now coming towards the language part next turn your page i will tell you the page number here there are again some hots is there hots do you think the ant should have joined the grasshopper in dancing and singing no the ant did not join with the grasshopper for singing and dancing the answer is no and again second question do you think the grasshopper was foolish what do you mean by foolish the opposite of opposite word of foolish is what clever clever foolish in this lesson yes the grasshopper was foolish the ant was clever next here again vocabulary is there students open your page number 6 page number 6 yes here i will show you the page page number 6 this one seeing all of you vocabulary match the picture with the action it shows which action it showing no you have to match that with the sentence first one the ant is talking where the ant is talking the grasshopper is singing and dancing second one here the grasshopper is holding guitar so you have to match it to the second one the grasshopper is singing and dancing match it to the first picture next the ant is carrying food where is this picture here the ant is carrying food third one match it here match it to ant next the ant is talking first one where you have to match the ant is talking here the ant is talking first one match it to this picture second one here the grasshopper is holding it or no you have to match to this picture next third third one the ant is carrying food here this picture you have to join the line from here to here next the grasshopper is shivering during winter the grasshopper was shivering so you can match it over here from here to here draw line yes children now there is a pronunciation i will tell these words you can repeat after me okay children goose lose goose lose these all are rhyming words and you should give stress long stress to the o lose goose like this you have to pronounce it next balloon moon balloon moon okay you can say after me say loudly coo hoo coo hoo next root shoot root shoot here next boom room boom room you have to give stress long stress to the this double o room not room if you say room means wrong room boom next soon spoon long stress you have to give here say once again soon spoon understood yes students next there is a listening and speaking in the page number 6 from page for page and practice the dialogue continue the conversation with different situation here fair means form fair means you can make a partner as your brother or sister okay take him as your partner and you can say the dialogues what is the dialogues you can ask to your brother or sister that where is your house tina here this boy is asking where is your house tina the
The boy is questioning to the Tina. Here you can use your brother name or sister name or your friend name. Where is your house Santosh? Where is your house Suma? You can use your surrounding person name. Next, the girl is answering that my house is just behind the school. My house is just behind the school. This is the answer for that boy's question. The girl is answering. So, you can keep conversation with your partner. You ask him question, he will tell the answer. Next, he will ask the question to you. You can answer him. Do conversation like this. So that you can learn the English. How to talk. Understood? Shall we move next? Yes. Now turn the page. Page number 7. Page number 7. Language and grammar. Language and grammar. Interchange two letters where the necessary and Write these words correctly. Here they have given four lines. Means you all of you having four line notebook. No. How you have to write? How you have to write this? I will show you. Here F O D O. Interchanging two words where the necessary. Language and grammar. Heading is write the heading language and grammar. Write the heading neatly. Here, first one they have given that F-O-D-O. F-O-D-O. And here they are given the Four lines over here in your textbook. So, you think that this is your four line notebook. How you have to write it? Is this, this word is correct? There is a some word in these spellings. You need to interchange these spellings. How? Means I will show you. First, you have to write Y O O D. Correct? F O O D. Food. You got one word? By interchanging the spellings, you got a word called food. Next one. Second one. W R O K. Is this correct? No. Means. You need to make it correct. So interchange words. Which word you will get? First you have to write it. W as it is. W. Next O. R. K. Word. Children's concentrate here to which, in which line I am writing the words. Like this you have to write it. Third one, again there is a one word. P-A-L-Y. So, you can write it as a here. Play. P is small. P L A Y Play Okay Next Fourth one Yes N I G So What is the word In this spelling These all words are There in your lesson so, that is sing. Yes. I. N. G. Got sing. So, first one is foot. 
second one work third one play fourth one sing clear write neatly like this in your textbook that is page number 7 again there is a one more word fifth one is they this is your homework fifth one is you have to write it yourself fifth one the fifth one is there no you write it yourself okay next coming to the next part there is a writing practice writing practice write these words here they have given the words and grasshopper winter summer you need to write these words in this lines already i shown you how to write in four lines as you all know all of you have practiced in the lkg and ukg yes so now you write these words in this lines yes children understood clear yes now this exercise is completed i will send you the question and answers through your whatsapp by seeing that you copy it in your fair book understood children okay we will continue in the next class thank you good morning students now i will say one prayer you also close your eyes and say along with me om asatoma sarkamaya tamasoma jyotirgamaya mrityorma amrutangamaya om shanti 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 hi yes children now slowly open your eyes in the previous class we all discussed about the lesson number 1 the lazy grasshopper you have learned this story now yes or no yes now it is time to solve the exercises children all of you open exercises in your textbook that is page number i will tell you the page number all of you open page number 5 exercises write down the heading in your notebook exercises here first one they have given that a write t for the true statement and f for the false statement so here they have given the true or false what you have to do is t for the true and false for the f okay children so here the grasshopper was singing and dancing is it true all of you have learned in the story now is it true yes true next second one write the t only tree t second question the ant was dancing with the grasshopper the ant was dancing with the grasshopper is the ant was dancing with the grasshopper no it is false so you should write it yeah for false statement third one the ant and the grasshopper were enemies is the enemies no false fourth one the ant shared food with the grasshopper the ant shared the food with the grasshopper is it true no false because the ant did not share the food with the grasshopper so it is false this statement is false now coming to the next answer these questions orally here they have given orally but you have to write down this question and answers in your fair book now you can tell me orally I, now i will tell you questions you can answer me orally but you have to write it in your fair book 
What is the first question? What was the grasshopper doing? What was the grasshopper doing in the story? The answer is the grasshopper was singing and dancing. The grasshopper was singing and dancing. Next, second question. Who stored food for winter? Here it is not there, but I have given you some question here. Who stored food for winter? Ant or grasshopper? Yes, the ant stored food for winter. The ant stored food for winter. What happened during winter? What happened during winter? Question number three. Answer is during winter the grasshopper did not find any food. During winter the grasshopper did not find any food. This is the answer. Coming to the fourth question. This is the just general question I am asking you. Who was lazy in this lesson? Who was lazy in this lesson? As the lesson name itself indicates that the grasshopper was lazy. The lazy grasshopper, isn't it? The ant was very active. Here, the grasshopper was lazy. Question number 5. What did the grasshopper learn? In this lesson, what lesson did the grasshopper learn? Question number 4. Last question. The answer is, there is a time for work and there is a time for play. This lesson, the grasshopper learnt by this story. There is a time for work and there is a time for play. Yes, students understood? Yes, now coming towards the language part. Next, turn your page. I will tell you the page number. Here there are again some hots is there. Hots. Do you think the ant should have joined the grasshopper in dancing and singing? No. The ant did not join with the grasshopper for singing and dancing. The answer is no. And again second question. Do you think the grasshopper was foolish? What do you mean by foolish? The opposite of Opposite word of foolish is what? Clever. Clever, foolish. In this lesson, yes, the grasshopper was foolish. The ant was clever. Next, here again, vocabulary is there, students. Open your page number 6. Page number 6, yes, here. I will show you the page, page number 6, this one. Seeing all of you, vocabulary, match the picture with the action it shows. Which action it's showing, no, you have to match that with the sentence. First one, the ant is talking. Where the ant is talking? The grasshopper is singing and dancing, second one. Here, the grasshopper is holding guitar. So, you have to match it to the second one. The grasshopper is singing and dancing. Match it to the first picture. Next. The ant is carrying food. Where is this picture? Here. The ant is carrying food. Third one, match it here. Match it to ant. Next. The ant is talking. First one, where you have to match? The ant is talking. Here, the ant is talking. First one, match it to this picture. Second one, here. The grasshopper is holding guitar. No, you have to match to this picture. Next, third, third one. The ant is carrying food. Here, this picture. You have to join the line from here to here. Next, the grasshopper is shivering. During winter, the grasshopper was shivering. So, you can match it over here. From here to here, draw a line. Yes, children. Now, there is a Pronunciation. I will tell these words. You can repeat after me. Okay, children. Goose. Lose. Goose. Lose. 
these all are rhyming words and you should give stress long stress to the o lose goose like this you have to pronounce it next balloon moon balloon moon okay you can say after me say loudly coo hoop coo hoop next root shoot root shoot here next boom room boom room you have to give stress long stress to the this double o room not room if you say room means wrong room boom next soon spoon long stress you have to give here say once again soon spoon understood yes students next there is a listening and speaking in the page number 6 conversation with different situation here fair means form fair means you can make a partner as your brother or sister okay take him as your partner and you can say the dialogues what is the dialogues you can ask to your brother or sister that where is your house tina here this boy is asking where is your house tina the boy is questioning to the tina here you can use your brother name or sister name or your friend name where is your house santosh where is your house suma you can use your surrounding person name next the girl is answering that my house is just behind the school my house is just behind the school this is the answer for that boy's question the girl is answering so you can keep conversation with your partner you ask him question he will tell the answer next he will ask the question to you you can answer him do conversation like this so that you can learn the english how to talk understood shall we move next yes now turn the page page number 7 page number 7 language and grammar language and grammar interchange two letters where the necessary and write these words correctly here they have given four lines means you all of you having four line notebook no how you have to write have you have to write this i will show you here f o d o interchanging two words where the necessary language and grammar heading is write the heading language and grammar write the heading neatly here first one they have given that f o d o f o d o and here they are given the four lines over here in your textbook so you think that this is your four line notebook how you have to write it is this this word is correct there is a some word in this spellings you need to interchange this spellings how means i'll show you first you have to write y yeah. o o d correct y yeah, o o d food you got one word by interchanging the spellings you got a word called food next one second one 
W R O K. Is this correct? No. Means you need to make it correct. So interchange words, which word you will get? First you have to write it W as it is. W next O R K Work Children concentrate here to which in which line I am writing the words. Like this you have to write it. Third one. Again there is a one word. P-A-L-Y. So you can write it as a. Here. Play. P small. P. L. A. Y. Play. Okay. Next, fourth one. Yes, N, I, G. So, what is the word in this spelling? These all words are there in your lesson. So, that is sing. Yes, I, N, G. Got sing. So first one is foot, second one work, third one play, fourth one sing. Clear? Write neatly like this in your textbook. That is page number seven. Again, there is a one more word. Fifth one is there. This is your homework. Fifth one is you have to write it yourself. Fifth one. The fifth one is there, no? You write it yourself. Okay. Next, coming to the next part, there is a writing practice. Writing practice, write these words. Here, they have given the words. And, grasshopper, winter, summer. You need to write these words in these lines. Already I shown you how to write in four lines. As you all know, all of you have practiced in the LKG and UKG. Yes? So now you write these words in these lines. Yes, children understood? Clear? Yes, now this exercise is completed. I will send you the question and answers through your WhatsApp. By seeing that, you copy it in your fair book. Understood, children? Okay. We will continue in the next class. Thank you.